I want to say I've been spending at least the last 18 days trying to learn Japanese, and more or less, I've had mixed results. I had a period where I was overwhelmingly excited and amazed by how much I could learn in a small time, and then shortly after a period where things started stagnating, I started doubting myself only to then be motivated again, and then later on just kind of fall off with it. Now, recently I've been at that period where I just kind of didn't know what I was doing. I just fell off from doing Japanese and now I'm trying to get back into it um and that's not an easy thing to do when you've stayed away from a task for so long luckily enough for me I could remember I'm not gonna say everything I learned but I could remember quite a bit of it I remembered essentially all the vocabulary from the first CD some of it from the second um so I, I'm coming into it with a, a good enough chance because I think I have a relatively good memory for how much I practiced it. But that's not the point I want to make here today. Um, my, my point is, is that it's hard, especially when you don't have all the textbooks, when you don't have all of the, the correct materials. Um, and it makes me wonder, am I just taking shots in the dark here, you know? Um, but thinking back now, it's like, you know, having this knowledge, having the ability to retain the amount of knowledge that I can right now and learning about this stuff with the resources that I can get is far better than waiting until I can afford the stuff and then buying it then and then learning because here's the thing if I build up a good enough work ethic for learning a language and if I build up a relatively good knowledge of the vocabulary and uh, you know the basics and of the uh, the foundation that comes with the language then when I have that money to buy let's say Genki 1 and 2 the textbooks with the CDs and stuff and uh, what's it called? Um, uh, uh, remembering the kanji and uh, remembering the kana, those books. You know, once I'm at a level where I can pay for that stuff, I'm gonna, you know, go through those first lessons far easier because I'm gonna have this stuff remembered in my head. Uh, the amount of it that I can get online, which is a very, very useful thing to have. Um, and like I said, just that general uh, re recipitation of the, 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 the work ethic and um, telling the brain that this is an important thing to remember. Because if you're just sitting there agonizing over it and you're not having fun with it or in some fashion, your brain is likely going to dispose of that information. Um, the way I kind of uh, have fun with it myself is I'm eating while I'm doing it. This was a shocking uh, revelation that I had had it not too long ago. I had, you know, I had um, been eating while I would do my work, and whenever I was writing a new script, it was always really helpful. I kind of fell off uh, from doing that just from you know the uh, the lack the lack thereof of uh, food in the house in general. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not going to take away from other people just so I can get my work done, you know. Um, but I was sitting here, I was just drinking, you know, Dr. Pepper because I was thinking, you know, it's nighttime. It's like freaking 4, 4.26 a.m., I want to say. Oh, no, 4 a, 4.06 a.m. Yeah, it's pretty late. I don't tend to be this active at this time of night, but I... But I am because I was drinking caffeine and I had things I needed to get done that I didn't get done. Um, I tend to get very easily distracted and Jin and and Jin that's that's person in Japanese. I don't know why I said Jin. Uh, and then because um, they rhyme. Uh, and then just stay on Discord all day and like go on Discord servers and talk with people or um, you know I just browse the internet um you know go on wordpress and read freaking uh saku gaboru all day while listening you know to whatever metal i can get my hands on or just 
random like city pop or something something that I can easily put on the background without actually thinking too hard about it you know um and then I just read articles and I go and talk to people all day and I don't really get anything done under that mindset I might like record a vlog or record a big podcast and I always really like my podcasts the fact that they exist and stuff like that but it's not a script it's not me working on learning a language or something you know it's not something that is is tangible and important you know um it's just kind of an extra thing off to the side doing its own thing and obviously doing vlogs has uh built up a level of skill for me to just come up on the mic and start riffing but uh as useful as that is in itself it's not as useful as being able to write with it really well and it's also not as fun as being able to uh write write really well arguably i don't know why i can't pronounce things today um yeah or or like i said learning a language that's going to benefit me a lot in the long run <laughs> you have no idea how many uh japanese exclusive games there are like um, on on the PS1 alone, the PS1 is my favorite game system all the time. Oh my god. Do you know how many weird visual novels, RPGs, um, shmups uh, we never got over here because they were just too niche? Oh my god. There's so much. And I want all of it, of course, because I'm like a, a PS1 guru. Patreon.com slash Logan Romke, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I, I want to buy as many games on that system as possible. And uh, in order to have access to those video games, I gotta learn the language, man. So, it's hard, like everything um, in life. It's worth doing. It's really, really hard. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I, I, at least I've got my life hack, I've got my caffeine, the, the, the cardinal sin that I always come back to that's probably ruining my life on some level, but I just need it. I'm drinking it right now. I don't even like Dr. Pepper that much, yet I've almost gone through this entire two liter just based on the fact that that it has caffeine and that it tastes somewhat good and it has sugar um and that keeps me going man you know if i can just eat during my studies it is exponentially better um for just keeping my brain on task because when i'm sitting there and i'm doing that work and uh my my brain is stimulated by how good it feels to eat something and i'm uh doing that to get through maybe the more rough or agonizing parts. Ugh, I I said soldes ka instead of so des. This is so obvious and basic. Why are you not doing it right? You know, instead of, you know, occupying so much of my brain to nitpick over my uh, small mistakes and then give up. That part of my brain is then occupied by me drinking or me eating. It calms me down, man. I I think this is the kind of um the overeating problem that uh I, I don't want to say fat people cuz I I don't know, I might get called insensitive or something. But uh, relatively obese people have, I think. Um where uh, a lot of those people, you know, uh, if they're not if it's not for social problems, it's for uh, you know, general depression and uh criticalness of themselves in the first place to where they just overeat and uh it 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 bottles up and then they become, you know, uh unhealthy and it's it's really sad that it has to come like that, but I use it more as a uh as a vice, you know. I can't afford to overeat anyway. If you've seen me, you'd know that, but um but as like a, a a thing that that uh, allows me to um get through the day, I think eating is very nice for that because uh it it just takes the stress off eating is fun it feels nice it makes you feel nice afterwards and um it's it's weird i just heard like a weird noise around the house um of someone going or something like logan or something some strange 
noise. That's the weird thing that happens, like, when you're up this late, um, just by yourself, you know, um, it's like your brain, when you're up on this much caffeine, and you're just up this late trying to get work done, um, your, your brain starts playing odd tricks on you, cause you gotta go to bed, man, it's not healthy to stay up, um, and, and only get, like, five hours of, uh, of sleep the next morning and then do the exact same thing if uh, excuse me every night afterwards um it's the 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 workaholics hallucination problem i suppose um uh what was i what was i talking about man what was i talking about oh yeah so i think eating is a nice vice under control you know everything in moderation that's what i say uh, even though I'm terrible at that philosophy, it's a, a good one to keep. Um, as long as you moderate yourself uh, and you eat good stuff while working, it seems to help me so far through the, the more grindy segments for the reasons I explained. Um, Japanese is hard. It's It's really, really difficult. To retain this information, but I'm trying, man. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, uh, I I wanted to like for a while. I really wanted to immerse myself, like do the whole immersion thing, where all you do is consume Japanese media, and it's like, man, I can't even find a quality stream. I don't even have speakers or anything in my room where I can just play Japanese TV on all the time. It would be nice if I could, but it's like I just don't have the resources for that. That's my main problem. That's a whole other video in itself. I don't have enough resources, bro. Patreon.com slash my name. Give me resources. Um, and uh, especially if you're a woman. That's what I gotta say. Uh, um... Uh, yeah, so, I, I think this was a nice, uh, life hack that I figured out. Of course, it's not an, it's, it's not a complete alleviator for the problem by any means, but it does help. Um, I think I already have the mindset and the work ethic to get the work done. Like, I was before, before I, uh, stopped for, like, a week beyond, you know, just trying, like, five minutes of it at least, like, uh, once every few days or whatever however long I've been off um uh but like I I have done it before you know I think I was just kind of overworking myself in a sense where I would do like three four hours of it in a day like there's no way I'd be able to retain that much vocabulary all I'm going to do is stress myself out if I just don't work for a small goal, like, okay, uh, learn this much vocabulary in a day, and then just practice that vocabulary, it's all you gotta do, not, like, try to, okay, I'm going to learn all three of these Japanese CDs in a day, and I'm gonna listen to all of them, you're going to get frustrated, you're going to overwork yourself if you do that, you know, and, this should have been obvious to me at the time, but it wasn't because I was just so excited and so into the idea of learning the language that I ended up kind of stilting that hype and stilting that excitement just by way of being too into it and trying to learn too much um, that my brain was not capable of it. And of course, like the hypercritical of myself individual I am, I thought it was automatically a problem with with just me and not any kind of tactic that I was using but in reality if I try to learn this stuff slower and if I focus on having fun with the work um, and practicing little things in the work a lot more I tend to retain the information better not just go over like all of the lessons in one day that no one is going to be able to do that and yet I expected myself to be able to just both out of sheer hype and over expectation for what I'd be able to do. Um, and uh, I think part of that stemmed from just how impressed and egotistical I became about how well I was doing. Like, 
Wow, I can say sumimasen, ego ga wakarimasen. Wow, I'm or, wakarimasu ga, wakarimasen is saying, uh, I like you don't know, you don't know, or whatever. It's like, wow, I can, I can say, uh, 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 what, what is it? Um, watashi wa, um, nihongo ga wakarimasu, you know, I, I can say all these things, I'm the best, when, it's like, these are very, very basic, very basic sentences, um, and, uh, it's, it's weird, uh, Tanaka-san wa, uh, um, what, what is it, uh, Tanaka-san wa komuin, komuin desu ka, I think that's it, if you're, if you're asking if, they're a civil servant. I think that's how you say it. Um, what's the more interesting one? Oh, uh, the Suzuki san wa? Um, Collins no kaishain desu ka? Are you a Collins employee? Suzuki san, are you a Collins employee? That's it. You know, it's very, very basic stuff. And I would get so, you know, into the idea that I knew these very basic things. That I would kind of overhype and overstep my ability and my worth just of of how egotistical I became over it. And when you do that, you know, when you when you overestimate what the rain is gonna be tomorrow, just because you think you're a good weatherman, you know, the 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 results they're going to be underwhelming, you know, and you're gonna feel bad, uh, like like I did, um. And because it was so underwhelming, you know, you want to give up. It's, you know, it's one of those. It's one of those things um, that that you just have to figure out through through self awareness. Like, yeah, don't do that again. Um, you know, you gotta gotta learn how to admit your mistakes. Uh, yeah. So this is just kind of the um, getting back into the language cast, getting back into learning. To speak Japanese, getting back to the basics, getting back to the best. Um, hopefully, I've learned uh, from you know from from the the problems that I brought up. Hopefully, I've I've learned my lesson. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, and and I hope this might have proved interesting for you. Uh, just kind of some observations and frustrations. Or, uh, you know, general analysis of of my time learning the language and, and some of the mistakes I've made, some of the things I've been thinking along the way. I, I hope that proved interesting for you. Um, regardless, hope you're doing well. If you actually got this far in, have a nice day.